Back in late August 2022, I stumbled upon a Last Week Tonight video expecting another AI doomsday tale. Instead, I got an emotional story of John Oliver's tragic love affair with cabbage, which starts with him falling in love and marrying it, only to later accidentally eat it in sleep. The story ends with him pouring ashes into the ocean, all rendered with me journey. At that moment, I realized the power of AI, and like you, I subscribed to numerous tech newsletters to keep up with the buzz. Fast forward to now, and my inbox looks like this, and I'm feeling fed up. Nobody can keep up. That's where this latest tool that I built comes to the rescue. It's a personalized, automated newsletter that caters to your specific interests. Just type in your topic, and in seconds, you'll receive an email with the latest news summaries about the topic, as well as custom-made titles and URLs of the original news articles. You don't need to know how to code, all you need is a desire to learn programming with ChatGPT. After all, I managed to build this tool alone and I didn't know anything about programming in Python just two months ago. Let me share a quick overview of the tools and concepts you'll use while building this app, enough to get you started with ChatGPT. So let's dive in. So in the first step, we're going to use SERP API, which is just a more technical way to access Google search results. For example, when I used SERP API to search for Baklava in Austin, the results on the left and on the right were essentially the same, but they were formatted differently. Meaning, you can write a function that takes a keyword or a phrase and in return gives you back a list of URLs that contain articles that you are interested in. Since I'm building everything in Streamlit, which gives a frontend for Python scripts, this is what the outcome looks like at this stage. I have inserted a SERP API key as well as a keyword which is AI news in this instance, and I'm getting a list of URLs that cover this topic. So in the next step, we'll have to fix one little problem. If you Google for some type of, let's say, AI news right now, you'll see that you'll get a lot of results from different websites that, however, cover the same issues. For example, if you Google stable diffusion, you might get 10 different results for how stable diffusion turned Elon Musk into a baby, which means that your newsletter will have a lot of duplicate news and you don't want that you want to have unique content in order to filter out duplicate news articles and keep only unique stories you're going to need a ci kit learn with this machine learning library you'll be able to cluster and group the news articles and reject the ones that cover the same topics this library compares articles and if the words used in two articles are too similar it rejects one and keeps the other one. So now that you have automated searching for a specific topic and you also automated filtering out duplicate news, it's time to actually scrape the content of the news article. You can use Newspaper 3K for that. It's a simple and very beginner-friendly library. With it, you can fetch the entire body of the article as well as the title and the URL. So this is what the results look like at this stage. Just a giant list of text scraped from the URLs that cover some AI news. With this library, you can also extract keywords and even summarize the entire article. There are other libraries that can do the same, like Beautiful Soup, but I personally prefer Newspaper 3K. Okay, so far so good. So now let's get to the fun part. We're gonna use Langchain for three different things. First, we'll summarize news articles with large language model, and I'll use OpenAI for this purpose. In order to do so, you'll need to use Langchain's chain, which is just a fancy way of saying that the Langchain will accomplish a set or a chain of instructions based on your input, and it's going to give you back the output, which is summarized text in this case. But in order to make sure that the large language model can do this appropriately, you first have to make sure that the scraped text has less than 4,000 tokens, which is approximately 3,000 words, because that's the maximum that ChatGPT can work with at this moment. Maybe you can skip this step if you're one of the lucky ones that has access to Claude's API, which has a context window of 100,000 tokens. In the last and third step, since you're really making a newsletter, you'll want to generate titles for each of the summaries. And you can use Langchain's prompt templates for this. Prompt template is essentially a reusable string that can accept parameters from the user to create a prompt. In this case, the text string would be create a title for the following text, and the parameter is the previously summarized news article. So to wrap things up, first you'll split the text into chunks, then you'll summarize each splitter chunk, and finally you'll generate a title using a template. 
from. If you're using Streamlit, you'll be able to see what the project looks like at this stage. It should contain titles, summarized news articles, and URLs. Now that you have your content, the last easy step is setting up an email service with Mailgun. This provider enables email management, sending and tracking, and it's ideal for newsletter business. You'll need to input recipient date, details, the sender's email, the Mailgun domain, which you can find once you log in and it begins with the phrase sandbox and your private API key. If you're not ready to start your newsletter ventures. This video offers an overview of creating your own tools where ChatGPT can automate some boring parts of the code like integrating SERP API. Although I wrote most of the code on my own for practice, ChatGPT was a reliable assistant for debugging and improving my code. I believe that this is the future of learning programming. So the link to the code as well as the demo will be provided in the description box. And that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you find it useful. And if you do, maybe you would want to check out my previous video where I explain how to use LangChain to make your own YouTube summarizer. Thank you for watching. Bye.